Makeup is a powerful tool that can help you transform your appearance and express your femininity. Whether you are a cross-dresser, a transgender woman, or just want to explore your feminine side, makeup can enhance your features, hide your flaws, and create the illusion of a more feminine face. However, makeup can also be tricky. If you don't apply it correctly, you can end up looking unnatural, clownish, or even more masculine. To avoid these pitfalls, you need to know some basic makeup rules and techniques that can help you achieve a beautiful and believable look. In this video, we will discuss some of the most common makeup mistakes that male-to-female transformation enthusiasts make and how to avoid them. By following these tips, you will be able to create a stunning look that will make you feel confident and gorgeous. Mistake number one, not covering your beard shadow properly. One of the biggest challenges that male-to-female transformation enthusiasts face is hiding their beard shadow. Beard shadow is the dark stubble that shows through your skin after shaving. It can make you look masculine and ruin your feminine illusion. To cover your beard shadow effectively, you need to use a color corrector before applying foundation. A color corrector is a product that neutralizes the unwanted color on your skin. For beard shadow, you need to use a red or orange color corrector, depending on the tone of your skin. Red works better for lighter skin tones, while orange works better for darker skin tones. To apply color corrector, dab it on the areas where you have beard shadow, such as your upper lip, chin, jawline, and neck. Blend it well with a sponge or brush until it looks even. Then apply foundation over it in a shade that matches your skin tone. Blend it well with a sponge or brush until there are no visible lines or patches. Finally, set it with a translucent powder to make it last longer and prevent shine. Mistake number two, applying too much or too little makeup. Another common mistake that male to female transformation enthusiasts make is applying either too much or too little makeup. Too much makeup can make you look unnatural, cakey, or drag queen-like. Too little makeup can make you look washed out, dull, or unpolished. To find the right balance of makeup, you need to consider your skin type, your desired look, and the occasion. For example, if you have oily skin, you may want to use less makeup and more powder to avoid looking greasy. If you have dry skin, you may want to use more moisturizer and less powder to avoid looking flaky. If you want a natural look, you may want to use lighter and softer colors and products. If you want a dramatic look, you may want to use darker and bolder colors and products. If you are going out for a casual day, you may want to use less makeup than if you are going out for a formal night. Mistake number three, not shaping your eyebrows correctly. Your eyebrows are one of the most important features of your face. They can enhance or detract from your femininity, depending on how you shape them. Eyebrows that are too thick, too thin, too arched, or too straight can make you look masculine, angry, surprised, or bored. To shape your eyebrows correctly, you need to follow your natural arch and remove any excess hair that falls outside of it. You can use tweezers, wax, or thread to pluck or trim your eyebrows. Be careful not to overdo it or create unnatural shapes. You want your eyebrows to look neat and defined, but not fake or drawn on. To fill in your eyebrows, you need to use a pencil or powder that matches your natural hair color. You can use short and light strokes to mimic the appearance of hair. Follow the direction of your hair growth and fill in any sparse areas. Don't make your eyebrows too dark or too long. You want them to frame your eyes and balance your face, but not overpower them. Mistake number four, not contouring and highlighting your face. Contouring and highlighting are essential techniques for creating a more feminine face shape and enhancing your features. Contouring is the process of using a darker shade of makeup to create shadows on your face. Highlighting is the process of using a lighter shade of makeup to create highlights on your face. Together, they can help you sculpt and define your face. To contour and highlight your face, you need to identify your face shape and apply the makeup accordingly. There are six basic face shapes, oval, round, square, heart, diamond, and oblong. Each face shape has different areas that need to be contoured and highlighted. Here are some general guidelines for contouring and highlighting. Use a cream or powder product that is one or two shades darker than your foundation for contouring. Use a cream or powder product that is one or two shades lighter than your foundation for highlighting. Apply contour on the areas where you want to create depth and dimension, such as the sides of your forehead, the temples, the hollows of your cheeks, the jawline, and the sides of your nose. Apply highlight on the areas where you want to create light and lift, such as the center of your forehead, the bridge of your nose, the tops of your cheekbones, the cupid's bow of your lips, and the chin. Blend well with a sponge or brush to avoid harsh lines or patches. 
Mistake number 5, not paying attention to your eyes, lips, and cheeks. Your eyes, lips, and cheeks are the focal points of your face, that can make you look more attractive and expressive. They can also add color and contrast to your complexion. However, many male-to-female transformation enthusiasts neglect these areas or apply makeup incorrectly. To pay attention to your eyes, lips, and cheeks, you need to choose flattering colors and products that suit your skin tone and type. You also need to apply them correctly and blend them well. Here are some tips for applying makeup on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. For your eyes, choose eyeshadow colors that complement your eye color and skin tone. For example, brown eyes look good with purple, green, or gold eyeshadows. Blue eyes look good with brown, copper, or peach eyeshadows. Green eyes look good with plum, pink, or taupe eyeshadows. Apply eyeshadow in three steps, a light color on the inner corner and brow bone, a medium color on the lid, a dark color on the outer corner and crease. Blend well with a brush. Apply mascara on your upper and lower lashes to make them look longer and fuller. Curl them first with an eyelash curler for extra lift. Apply eyeliner on your upper lash line to define your eyes and make them look bigger. For your lips, choose a lip liner and lipstick that match your natural lip color or a shade slightly darker. You can also use a gloss for extra shine. Apply lip liner on the edges of your lips to define them and prevent bleeding. Apply lipstick on the entire surface of your lips and blot with a tissue. Apply gloss on the center of your lips for a plump effect. For your cheeks, choose a blush that matches your skin tone and type. For example, peach or coral blushes look good on warm skin tones, while pink or berry blushes look good on cool skin tones. Cream blushes look better on dry skin, while powder blushes look better on oily skin. Apply blush on the apples of your cheeks and blend upwards towards your temples. Don't apply too much or too close to your nose or mouth. You want to create a natural flush, not a clown face. Makeup can be a fun and rewarding way to express your femininity and transform your appearance. However, it can also be challenging and frustrating if you don't know what you are doing. By avoiding these common makeup mistakes, you can create a beautiful and believable look that will make you feel confident and gorgeous. We hope you found the information helpful. We know that being transgender can be a difficult journey and we want to do our part to make it a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would mean the world to us. You can also support our work by joining our membership. This will help us continue to create content that is helpful and supportive for the community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.